The following BLTV program is brought to you by O'Flaherty Law. Please enjoy. Welcome to Learn About Law. My name is Kevin O'Flaherty from O'Flaherty Law, and today we're going to explain Illinois security deposit laws. Now, let me say at the outset that Chicago has more stringent security deposit laws, meaning more requirements for landlords. So if you live in the city of Chicago, if you're a landlord in the city of Chicago, Check out our article and video at learn-law.com about Chicago security deposit laws and how they are laid on top of Illinois security deposit laws. So Chicago and potentially some other municipalities throughout the state will kind of add additional restrictions on landlords on top of our statewide security deposit law that we're talking about now. So first let's talk about how much a landlord can charge for a security deposit. This one's easy. They can charge whatever they like, uh, although the going rate is an amount equal to one month's rent. There are a lot of interest obligations on larger landlords. Uh, if the security deposit is held for six months or more on a building with 25 units or more, the landlord has to record and pay out interest on security deposits to the tenants. And the rationale here is that for smaller buildings, that would be way too much of a headache for a small dollar amount on small interest. But in the aggregate on a larger building, it turns into a large dollar amount, and you don't want landlords in the business of making money off the interest of security deposits. So if the landlord fails to deliver the security, security deposit interest within 30 days uh, of each 12 month lease term, they can be held liable for not only the security deposit and the interest, but also attorney's fees and court costs. Now they don't have to necessarily cut a check, they can give a credit on the lease. Uh, but that's how interest works with security deposits. And again, the threshold is 25 units or more in the building and it has to be held for six months or more. It's not for month to month. Uh, or, I'm sorry, one month leases. Now if they end up holding it for six months to more even six months or more even on a month to month lease, then this would kick in. So let's talk about getting your security deposit back when you move out. That's what most people care about when we're talking about security deposits. Uh, there's a, a statute in Illinois called the Illinois Security Deposit Return Act, which provides that Tenants have a right to the return of their security deposits within 45 days of their move out date. As long as the building has five units or more, the tenant does not owe any back rent, the building is left in acceptable condition, and the building and the premises are left clean. Uh, if there's less than five units, that doesn't mean you don't get your security deposit, it's just the terms of the lease that govern. So the lease will provide when you're supposed to get your security deposit back. It's just not covered by this act. If the landlord fails to return all or part of the security deposit, then they have to provide a, an itemized statement uh, within 30 days of the move out date, uh, as well as receipts that shows basically what the damages are and what the cost of repair was and how the security deposit was applied. So the landlord can't just say, you left the building in a mess and we are going to withhold your security deposit. They actually have to show what they're applying it to. Um, let me say one more time that the Chicago landlord, uh, residential landlord tenant ordinance has a lot more uh, requirements of landlords. So again, if you're in Chicago, check that out. If you have any questions, leave them below this post at learn-about-law.com learn uh, and we'll try to respond within a, about 48 hours or so. Uh, if you found this helpful and you'd like to be informed of our upcoming topics. We post an article every day and a video every day. You can subscribe to us on YouTube, iTunes, and SoundCloud. If you need some help, give us a call at 630-324-6666. That's 630-324-6666. We have offices all around Chicago land for your convenience. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Click the subscribe button for new videos every week and download and review us on iTunes. Visit learn-about-law.com for other legal-related articles and videos. Visit our business podcast and video blog, seizeyourbusiness.com. And visit Making Real Estate Fun for real estate videos and podcasts. Call us at 630-324-6666 for a free consultation.